Hi guys, Max Roberts here from Go Left Gaming. Today is episode 18 of the vlog, and the topic of conversation this week is new Pokemon remakes. Were just announced yesterday. Alpha, Sapphire, and Omega Ruby were confirmed for the Nintendo 3DS remakes of the third generation of Pokemon, Ruby and Sapphire. And the internet kind of lost its mind. People freaked out. For the better? Maybe? I don't really know. Um, it'll be interesting. Probably, most likely, going to be done with the X and Y engine, so all 3D. People are speculating that the Pokemon on the cover are, in fact, mega evolutions of Groudon and Crowiger. I can never pronounce Pokemon's names. Pokemans. But more importantly, I think, to you as the viewer, I wanted to talk about my experience with Pokemon in my life. I think it's a funny story. I think it's interesting. Might as well put it out there on the internet for everyone to hear, right? That makes sense. So, I was a wee lad, young, and I loved Pokemon. I loved Pokemon so very, very much. I had all the cards. I mean, I had a deck fitting it in the frame. I mean, probably doesn't fit within the frame of this video. But I had a huge deck. I loved the game. I had blue. Um, this is when gold was on the cusp of coming out. When gold and silver were coming into existence. So I was still in blue. I was there from the very beginning. And I loved me some Pokemon. I played all the time. All, all, all the time cards, everything. I trade kids on the bus on the way home from school in the kindergarten. I was in kindergarten and I did a lot. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we moved, so by this time I'm in first grade. The kids in the neighborhood played Pokemon. Everyone played Pokemon. Had an ancient Mew card, saw the movies. I think Gold and Silver were out by then, by the time I was in first grade. I think. Gold and Silver were out. They had to have been and maybe even Crystal. And we, there was just, I guess, a point where my parents thought Pokemon was evil, satanic, I don't know. I I, I think the real reason was they thought I was obsessed with it. They wanted to kind of nix that obsession in the bud. So they took all of my Pokemon stuff, games, toys, cards, don't know if I had shirts. I don't know. They took all of it. And they threw it away. But here's where it gets the best part. They had a paper shredder. And they made me stand there and watch and hand to them my Pokemon cards. And made me watch them shred all of it. Everything. Do you know how much money those cards would be worth now? Just shredded it. I, I was crying. It was bad. I, I, I don't think that's how you're supposed to handle it by making them destroy it right in front of them. But, gosh, it was rough. I'm emotionally scarred for life. Um, I, scarred for life. So it wasn't allowed to play Pokemon. Couldn't play it with friends, couldn't collect it, couldn't do anything with Pokemon. Pokemon was nixed from the bud, from the beginning, from blue, red, and yellow. All my friends kept playing Pokemon, gold, silver, crystal, then ruby, sapphire, and emerald, uh, fire red, leaf green, all these games just are coming out. Pokemon's expanding, there are movies, I'd go to birthday parties, kids would get Pokemon for birthday gifts, uh, and I couldn't play it. My friends had it, and, um... It just, it was rough growing up as a kid around in a Pokemon world. It was tough stuff. I remember right before I moved, at the age of 12, 13, right around there. I was 12. Right before we moved to the U.S. Virgin Islands, I 
had a friend who had Pokemon Blue. And I'm pretty sure he gave it to me as a birthday gift. Because he knew he wouldn't see me for a very long time. And I got Pokemon Blue back. It was my childhood. And I played that game so much. Ugh. It was so good. I remember doing the Mew glitch and screwing it up. And I was devastated because I didn't save before. I kind of did it in one run. <sighs> so many Pokemon memories. Anyway, I wasn't allowed to play Pokemon. This blue was kind of hoarded, kept secret. Is old enough, I don't think my parents really cared. But Diamond and Pearl were coming out. Diamond and Pearl were coming out for the Nintendo DS. And I was determined to play me some Pokemon. And so I made a case file. I made a school folder. Kind of like this one, right? Kind of like this. A school a folder. And I printed and filled and researched Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Like I was doing a research paper at a college level for it. I was going to prove to my parents that Pokemon wasn't evil. It was not of the devil. And that I was an old and mature enough kid to play Pokemon games. And so I made this presentation... For Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and I convinced them that I was old enough for it and they said I was but we lived on an island so it took forever for things to get there so I wasn't even gonna be there when the game came out but my aunt was visiting around the time of my birthday and lo and behold I got not only I had two things I wanted I wanted Pokemon Diamond and I wanted Pokemon Ranger because in Pokemon Ranger you could get a Manaphy egg and then trade it to Diamond and Pearl and unlock a Manaphy. And that's all I wanted it for. Ranger is a really fun game, actually. It's really cool. But I got them for my 13th birthday, and I played that crap out of them. I've logged 130 hours into Diamond. Just, ugh, Pokemon. And what's really sad is I got X and y, stoked for X and Y. Bought it at midnight, downloaded it. I never finished it. It's just like, yeah, same thing. Pokemon's just the same thing. Over, and over, and over. Just like, yeah, stop these bad guys. So I've come to the point in my life where it's like, Pokemon's the same, and I really only gotta play two generations of it. I really don't know anything in the middle, and I never really cared about black and white, or black and white too. I was waiting for the 3DS one, which was X and Y, and it really pretty and stuff, but I don't know, I never finished it. Just like, yeah. So that's my Pokemon story. That's my life in Pokemon, as it were. I have an Ash Ketchum hat somewhere, and oh, I have a Golden Mewtwo card. I'm gonna grab that real quick. Ugh. I bought this lovely gem off a friend for five dollars. This is back when Burger King, you got them in the Burger King meals, oh my gosh, 1999. Ugh, oh, love it. I also bought Pokemon Gold off a friend for maybe five or seven bucks. Um, had Crystal, but I sold that because I wasn't into it. I never beat Gold. I've never touched Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. So back to Omega Ruby and Omega, Omega, what is it? it's Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Will I play them? Probably not. Part of me wants to because I missed, I missed that entire middle generation, but I never picked up Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Um, I don't know. Maybe I kind of just wanted to share my Pokemon story with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, tell me about you and Pokemon. How has your life been with Pokemon growing up? All that cool stuff. Are you excited for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Is that something that tickles your fancy? Are you going to drop uh, so much money on both copies and trade to your heart's content? What do you guys think about Pokemon? Let me know in the comments below. Tweet at me at MaxTheWhite at GoLeftGaming. Make sure you like us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash go left gaming, and like, share, and subscribe this video 
to this channel. New vlogs every Thursday. Just launched a brand new series called What Am I Playing? Uh, just to tell you what I'm playing to start a conversation. I very much would like to talk to you. So please, please talk to me. Not to sound desperate. I just I want to start a conversation with you. So thanks for watching, guys. And always remember to go left.